Today, we're actually gonna be doing something just a little bit different. We're gonna take a couple minutes here just to pause and to thank God for how he's working in our lives and also to celebrate all that he's doing here. 2020 has not gone the way that anyone thought it would. And it really has been a difficult year for, I don't know, just about everyone all over the world. But one of the promises that God makes in scripture is that he promises to take all things, yes, all things, even the hard things, and rework them for our good. And this year he's done just that. See, he has reworked difficult situations in our ministry and actually has poured out his blessings. You know, it's easy to focus on the negative things and really just completely miss God, completely miss that he's active, that he's working and he's providing. So let us celebrate and thank God for all that he's done. We've been talking about getting our ministries online for years now, and we even had plans to do so. But earlier this year, a little thing called a global pandemic kind of got in the way and accelerated what we had already planned on. But God was looking out and we already had the equipment on campus to get our stuff online from that very first week. So we didn't even miss a beat bringing the word of God to our congregation. And so over the last few months, we've been getting more equipment so that we can continue to live stream better and better and bring that word in more and more powerful ways. And so we are at a place that's really awesome right now, but we're not done yet. Early in the next year, we're gonna be doing our sanctuary renovation that we've been talking about for a long time now. We're gonna be upgrading the electrical in there just to get it to a place where everything functions the way we expect it to. And then we're also gonna be doing a facelift. And not only is that facelift gonna benefit and create a worshipful environment for our, our members and everyone who comes to church here, but also the community and anyone who comes and checks it out. But then even past that, anyone who watches our stuff online is gonna be able to see what God is doing here. When we think about where we are today with the preschool, we sometimes forget what we've gone through uh, to achieve the status that we have right now. When we go back and look, we realize that we lost a long-term director in early spring. We had to replace that director for the, what we thought would be the remainder of the school year. The challenge, first of all, of finding an interim director. Fortunately, we had someone right at St. Mark. Through Krista's leadership, however, she convinced us that not only could we sustain a program, not only would our program survive, but it could thrive. And the final challenge was once we believed that it was sustainable, we uh, had to find a new director. It wasn't until the 11th hour that God intervened and blessed us with two highly qualified candidates. When the uh, interviews were concluded, it was an obvious choice uh, that we had, and that was uh, a person who recently uh, earned a BA in early childhood education, who was a lead preschool teacher for the Cave Creek School District, and oh, by the way, who also spent uh, seven years as preschool and early childhood director for a Lutheran church. What a gift that was at just the right time. We have a lot to celebrate at preschool this year. The kids sing a song and in it, it says, God's fingerprints are everywhere. And we see God's fingerprints all over St. Mark Preschool this year. Starting with our teachers who are dedicated to sharing the love of Jesus with these kids every day. In this time when a lot of teachers are saying, I'm not going back to that, in that classroom. Our teachers said, yeah, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be ready. And so they are, they're dedicated every single day and we've been blessed with all the teachers that we have. And then our parents who trust us with their children every day. They know their child is safe here at St. Mark and they know their child is loved. And then our kids, our kids are thrilled to be here every day. And last of all, our congregation that has supported us and loved us through this time. And we so appreciate that. And we just ask you to keep us in your prayers and we keep seeing God's fingerprints everywhere. People of St. Mark, I'm talking to you from Holy Cross Lutheran in their sanctuary. And I want you to feel really good about the partnership that we have with this congregation, what God is doing. This congregation was heading in a very difficult direction 
possibly looking at closing. But things have changed. Since we've been involved with this congregation, the worship attendance has, has nearly doubled. And God is doing amazing things, and we're looking for even more amazing things to happen as we push forward with the house churches and, and look at other campuses that we're going to be starting potentially in the fall of 2021 at North Valley Christian Academy. God is moving in amazing ways as we further our efforts to proclaim his gospel even beyond St. Mark to our community and to our world. We're called the knitwits, but we knit, we crochet, and we use this loom to make these hats. This hospital furnishes us with the yarn, and we make the hats for these babies. And uh, it's very gratifying to know that uh, something uh, that we have made is gonna go home with these newborns and, and I'm sure they will treasure them. And we have made over a thousand hats, not counting what we have accomplished this year. As you can see, God is on the move. Just as Kathy said, his fingerprints are everywhere. And isn't it exciting to look back and just be amazed? I mean, come on, amazed at what God has done. And guess what? I believe that he's not done yet. And we aren't even really able to, in this video, highlight everything that he's doing. I mean, we could be talking about the success of small groups over Zoom. We can be talking about how our youth ministry is going great. And even we can talk about our food drive. I mean, did you know that just this year, we have collected over 720 pounds of food for people just in our area? Incredible. One of the other miracles that we've been talking about the past few weeks is that the city is going to be improving 31st Street, saving us $1.7 million, which gives us this great opportunity here to put in a water line that we so desperately need. Now with both of these things actually done, now it means that we can actually work towards our master plan and really imagine what God can do here with new classrooms, a new gym, new sanctuary. And so really we are in the middle right now of a campaign to install that water line and also to improve our parking lot. Now our celebration goal gets us the water line plus laying down new asphalt. And then if we raise enough, our challenge goal is to do all that plus add new parking in the back that will actually be asphalt. And if we raise even more, as in we're going all in on this, then we can not only lay down new asphalt for the parking lot, but we can actually design it to the city code with all of the curbing and the landscaping. See, we encourage you to pray about how you can be part of this and as well to thank God and to celebrate all the miracles that he's still performing today.